Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here today with a review on the Angel Customs AP-10 M4 to MP5 magazine adapter. Now this is a, I'm going to get nice and close, this is a tiny little thing. As you can see it's designed to fit in a M4 based magazine well for an AR platform and allow you to insert an MP5 mag. Now the only problem I've had initially with this, before I get too far into this, is right on the side you have your little nubbies. These are to help guide and lock the uh, magazine into place, and these two front ones, if not sounded, sounded down, as I've encountered with my SR-16, will stick. This was actually wedged in there for a while until I popped it out violently, and now it's free. So anyway, this is a little $16 modification available on eVike. As you can see, there's the magazine release. As you know, a, uh, a M4 platform has the little magazine lock in here, so that latches in there. Press of a button, this pops out, put this in there, insert your MP5 mag, when not needed, this is the release lever. So, a little MP5 mag right here, and all you gotta do is line that up, and it'll adjust to the sidewalls of the MP of the uh, M4, and blam, there's your MP5. And to release it, same way you'd release any MP5 magazine. So, initially they tried to do something similar with Uzis, but the magazines were expensive, and it wasn't a terribly pleasant experience. So this also works out nicely if you're running an MP5 and anyone on your team runs FM or anything when we're using an M4 platform. So, we go on with this point. Here we have the lovely SR16. And all you gotta do is if you run out of M4 mags or ammo and you have an MP5, is drop this on out like so, toss the magazine away. You take your adapter here, facing forward properly, you insert that in here. Now, let's see, uh oh, and this will go over swimmingly, like so. So that's locked in place, as you can see it's ready to take MP5 mags. This completely modifies the cell of the gun and everything. There's a little bit of wiggle because I might have sanded it a bit too much, but there you go. MP5 ready. I can remove the mag like so and swap it out with a new one, or I can remove the adapter entirely. So it's pretty useful, and there has been some argument as to just how useful it is. Well, to be fair, they do make uh, upper receivers and everything that are designed specifically to use 9mm munitions, as a 9mm round costs about half as much as a 5.56. This also significantly reduces the amount of penetration. It fires at a slower speed with a higher mass. So you can definitely work around any problems you would have with overpenetration for, I don't know, walls made of sand, where your round could go through and hit one of your friendly operators. So it is a, it's an interesting little option, and it's something that you can quickly maneuver between. So you can swap between 9mm and 5.56, although as far as airsoft goes, it's all going to be 6mm, but it does give you a cool little adapter, a way to modify your magazine. So. If you ever get tired of your standard M4 magazine look, you can go with MP5 mags. Now I just so happen to have a ton of MP5 mags lying around because I do love my MP5 SD. So there you have it, and they feed fine. I used them in the last game we played a few Sundays ago where I didn't have any M4 mags, so it really came down to uh, MP5 mags, and they, they feed phenomenally and they work really well, but I'm trying to work towards a M4 mag, so I'll probably keep both, see how it works out, but yeah, so if you're running an SMG platform and someone hands you an M4, you can still get the magazines to work, so it's a great little cross-platform ability you got there, and I do like it, so yeah, it's not too much to it, it's just a little adapter. The BB speed, just the same, you'll still get down to the last three or so, and yeah, when you take out the magazine, the last three will pop out, and it fits just fine, so. Just remember to sand down those front portions right there. You can sand down the rear portions, but as far as my individual gun went, it wasn't a big deal. And these two in the back didn't cause any problem whatsoever, so. That's all there is to it. The uh, AP-10 Angel Customs Adapter. Pretty cool, nice little addition, especially for just 16 bucks. So, if you don't want to buy all new M4 magazines from moving around from an S uh, SMG platform, bravo. Fantastic little piece, I like it, so. Now you know it exists, and if that helps you, cool, and if it doesn't, then hey, maybe you can find someone who does help. Cheers, everyone. I will see you in the next review. Stay chivalrous.